Hey guys, Chris here from Chris House. Just going to show you how to use your brand new Sky RC S65. The format on this is very similar to, I think, the T100, the T200, like their other dual chargers as well. So pay attention. You can learn something real good. Okay. So when we turn the charger on here, uh, we've got some uh, we've got some settings here. So we're going to pick what kind of battery we're going to charge. So we're going to we're going to charge this uh, 5,000 milliamp hour two cell lipo battery. Okay. So we go to the main menu here, we're gonna pick what kind of battery uh, we're gonna charge. So in this case, we're gonna pick a LiPo battery, L-I-P-O, okay? You always wanna make sure you take the time to match the battery with the charger, okay? Before we get showing you the settings, remember, this is for informational purposes only. We're not liable if you burn down your house because you put in the wrong settings. Always be conscious of what you're doing, be around when you're charging. And if you have users in your household under 16, we recommend, you know, have a parent around, okay? So that's it from our legal department here at Chris's house. Right. I wish Charlie the dog was here. He's the department. So we're going to charge a light bulb battery. We're going to hit enter. And uh, this is already set up. So uh, we always want to pick a balance charge, okay? And what we're going to do is we want to select a 5 amp battery. So technically this comes with, uh, uh, like, when you get out of the box, it says 2 amp. And we're going to put this up to 5 amp to charge this 5,000 milliamp hour battery. So it's a 5,000. Now, if we had a 4,000, we would uh, divide this by 1,000. So if we had a 4,000, we'd charge it at 4 amp. If we had a 3,000, 3 amp, 3,300, 3.3, .3, we'd take this number and divide it by 1,000. 7.4 volt battery because it is a 7.4 volt battery. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, plug these two in. We're going to plug in the little balance lead first. And this is really important to make sure that the little arrows on the the lipo balance port there see how you have these little arrows they're going to face up towards the sky okay it's the way i like to explain it and it's going to plug all the way into the right side of this balance port here and i'm trying to do two things at once here there we go plug it in nice and firm okay so you see the two is lined up with the outside of the battery so that means we have a two cell battery okay and if you have a three cell again you plug it to the right of this balance port and then this little adapter here now your batteries may or may not have this so you're going to plug this in like this okay and then what we're going to do so we have both connections in there be very careful not to move them around too much we're going to push and hold this start button here and then we're going to hit the start button again and it's going to start charging the amperage is going to go up. This is the charge time. This is how many milliamps we're going to put in. This is a 5,000. So on your first few charges, you're you're not going to get, uh, sometimes you're not going to get the full capacity. Uh, we get a lot of questions for that. You can always feel free to call us. But uh, when the battery is fully depleted, a 5,000 after you've used it, let's just say up uh, after about a half a dozen times, uh, you're you're maybe going to put about four to 4,500 milliamp hour in it. For, sorry, 4,000 to 4,500 milliamp hour. And that's it, okay? So I wanna show you something else on this charger too. So we're gonna disconnect this. Now, a lot of you guys have Dean's plugs. So let's just simulate what it's gonna, the charger's gonna look like with those plugs. So this Traxxas, uh, sorry, this uh, Venom battery has these multi ends with these Dean's adapters and it's a very common adapter. And what we need to do is we need to plug in an adapter. Super tight, that's, that's good. And then we've got two connect, we've got this connection here. And then we've got your balance connection. And this is just like what your charger might look like if you have a different style of connector. We have these XT60s for like Traxxas and other brands, okay? So all we're gonna do is the exact same features. Good to go, hit enter, good to go, okay? Everything starts charging, excellent. So we're gonna stop this. Now another thing we're gonna do too, but I'm only gonna do it for a split second here. You do not wanna do this feature. You wanna use your batteries about six times. Um, and if you know you're not going to use your batteries for more than 30 days, we recommend a storage mode. We usually decrease that down to, I think, one amp on here, okay? And what the storage mode will do is it'll put your battery to sleep for you, okay? And this is just going to pull some amps out of it. We actually just charged it for a little bit, so we're, we're, we're okay. Um, and what it's going to do is put the battery to, to a nice sleep state. We recommend one amp. It's usually the, the, the safer way to go, okay? So we want to stop this now, but that's how you use your storage mode. You connect it both the exact same way. And like I said, you want to charge and use this battery. So charge and then put it in the vehicle, run it about six times before you start to use the storage mode because um, we get a lot of people come back 
put their batteries in storage mode prematurely. Batteries don't like that necessarily, okay? So we're going to disconnect both of these here. We're going to disconnect. Man, that's tight. Good. Okay, that's disconnected, and we're going to show you what it looks like on your 5,000 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride battery. Hashtag Venom's getting all the love here because we use your batteries. We I, There's lots of great batteries out there, so just, uh, you know, be safe. So, okay. So on the charger here, we're going to go back to your, your main menu, okay? And we're going to select what kind of battery we want to charge. So in this case, it is a NIMH. When you look at the battery, we see NIMH. And again, it's a 5,000, so... This is like when I show my my kids watch cartoons. So if it's a 5,000, we want to charge it at a 1C rating. What amperage do we charge it at? Five. <laughs> you like that, eh? Don't worry, I'm not talking to you like my kids. It's just we're having fun here, okay? So we're going to connect that. Only one connection on nickel metal hydride. So we selected nickel metal hydride battery. We're going to charge the battery. And we're going to increase this to 5 amps. And we're going to push and hold start. Starts charging right away. Amperage kicks on. The fan will also kick on on these automatically, but that's it, okay? Um, you know, the big thing, like you said, is just be home when you're charging, and that's that's basically it. Just be safe, be home, and have fun. When you're done, it'll stop automatically. A question we get asked a lot. These have a timer in them. I believe time's out about 120 minutes or so two hours, and it will stop charging or discharging, uh, and that's just for the safety of the battery and for you guys. If you have questions, uh, you know, you can always put something down below in the comments. Should be a pretty self-explanatory video. Maybe we won't have comments on it. I don't know. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.